this is Susan Winter, uh, your health advisor. Uh, I come through Sky Cable TV and um, we are continuing on a topic of depression. Uh, last time I know we started talking about depression. We had talked about the eight to nine types of depression and um, we are continuing on talking about depression. The reason for that is because uh, depression is something we have not been talking about among ourselves well and we need to talk about it we need to know what it is we know how we want to know how to treat it uh, we want to accept that depression is a disease like any other disease uh, we want to accept that it's here with us and it's non it's just like any other disease so let's talk about it so today we will follow a different way like the way we do it um, I will be asking a question and at the same time I would be expecting you on the other side also to answer yourself but I'll explain one question at a time so today we'll talk more of the depression but the, 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 the way I want us to go about it is we'll talk about depression and alcohol because those two, those two things, depression and alcohol, uh, they are interrelated because there is most of the time when you find people with alcohol, then you also find the same people they are also having depression. So we can combine it together and talk more about alcohol. So. Um, I can ask you a question. Is drinking good for depression? So different people have different answers, but for this video, drinking is not good for, for depression. Um, the reason why I say that is because depression and alcohol, they, they go together. So most probably is when you find somebody who is depressed, probably you might find that person is also drinking or abusing alcohol. So we know 30% to 40% of people who take alcohol, they are also depressed. So what I can let you know is that alcoholism, alcohol can also bring depression. What I mean by alcohol is people who take alcohol very often, people who are moderate drinkers, and people who are heavy drinkers. But those people who take alcohol occasionally, once in a while, they might not face that problem. But both alcohol and depression, they go together. The reason is that when somebody is depressed, they usually want to numb the pain they are feeling inside. Because what we said last time, you know, uh, symptoms of depression. We will not go back to all the type of depression, but I'll just mention a general, general symptoms of uh, depressions, which uh, the first one, which is um, common on all, is sadness. Then the, we have low energy. Then we also have hopelessness and worthiness. And then, you know, uh, some other people, they have increased appetite. Others, they have decreased appetite. Then another one is being antisocial. Another one is, you know, um, I said antisocial, but also some people withdrew completely from other people. And also, the other, those people, um, they show a different face. So you think they are happy, but at the back, they are not happy. So to numb all those problems, because I can call those symptoms, I can call them problems. Because once when you are very sad, you, you withdraw to yourself. You don't want to talk to other people. Uh, then you become antisocial. Then you, you feel too low and you don't have energy. So some people, they take alcohol so that they can nab that problem. It might be self, like self-medicating with the medications. 
So we can say when people feel depressed, then they take alcohol so that they can, they can feel better, uh, they can feel happy, they can be able to socialize with other people, they can go out there, and that's why you find most of the people who are depressed, they go to social places where they can drink, where there is alcohol. But that, uh, that, but that treatment, that medication they take, we can call it alcohol. It's just for a short while. You feel good for a short while, but then after that, the rebound is worse. It makes the depression even go deeper. You become even more sad. Then you become uh, more antisocial. Uh, then, you know, you feel more hopelessness after let's say you are drinking yesterday or last night when you wake up that's how you feel so that's why we, i had brought that question is drinking good for depression it might sound like good that particular time that short time but then uh, it, it's not good so i have answered that question so alcohol is not good for depression it even makes it worse but temporarily, people who are depressed, that's why you find like when somebody is depressed, they look for something to make them happy, to, to treat that inner pain which they have. And that's why they go to alcohol. They don't go to alcohol because they want to get drunk. They go to alcohol to treat the pain they have inside, that loneliness they have, that low energy they have, because alcohol will burst them into energy quickly and it will make them happy and then they will socialize that time they have alcohol and that's why you find some people who are depressed or people who, who we seems like they are quiet when they drink then they talk a lot then they want to socialize quickly um, and if they are depressed so that's how they show like they are happy at that particular time, and that's why they end up going to alcohol. So another question, question I would like to ask is, do alcoholics suffer from depression? Um, yes, they do. Uh, because when you start drinking heavily or moderately or so often, then even if you are not depressed, you'll end up depressed. That's why we find like, um, people who have been drinking for years, for a long time, they, they, their behavior changes. They end up getting the, the depressive uh, symptoms, uh, and that is caused by alcohol. So if you don't want to be depressed, then don't drink alcohol, because they go together. Um, I would say in my language, there is this tree, it's called Mokongogo, and then the other one is called, um, uh, what, what do you call it? Gekwa. So those two trees or plants, you'll find them together. So if you look for depression, then the next thing you'll see is alcohol. So those things, they go together. So it's, you know, like those two plants. When you see somebody who is drunk or drinks a lot, then you can easily uh, find that that person is depressed. Either alcohol came earlier than the depression or depression came earlier than the alcohol. So they go together. Uh, another, another question I would like to answer is, uh, do, do the moods get changed when you drink? You know, do, if somebody is depressed, do their moods changes to better or to worse? So when you, when you drink a lot of alcohol, when you're drunk, at the beginning, your mood might look good, you might be happy, smiling, but all of a sudden, the mood or the big part of it become worse, and that's why you find like somebody, they have just started drinking, then after a while, the mood changes, that person becomes abusive, that person starts calling other people's name, that person is rowed, that person is blaming this one and like the other one, and that's 
the reason for that is alcohol. So alcohol is not good for the mood and is also not good for depression. Uh, another question I would like to answer about, we are still talking about moods and depression, is what happens if you drink alcohol while you are taking antidepressants? So what happens? Because we know very well that when you are depressed, then your psychiatrist or your doctor might give you some medications, you know, to control your moods, to make you better. So when you are taking those drugs, most of those drugs, they are antidepressants. So that's the name you call the drugs which, you know, treat depression. So what happened is, when you take alcohol and you are taking those drugs, so the, the side effects of those drugs, alcohol makes them worse. So you end up, some of those um, side effects of those drugs, they are the drowsiness, you know, you feel drowsy, then dizziness, and then sometimes you don't coordinate well when, you know, when you're walking or when you're studying. So when you take alcohol, then it becomes worse because uh, we know very well also alcohol, even be, before, when, before you have depression, you can easily have dizziness when you take alcohol. You can easily have no good studying, you know, your coordination might be very bad. So when you take antidepressants, and then on top you add alcohol, then it becomes worse. And that's why you find most people, they fall a lot after they take alcohol and they, are, they also have depression. So those two things uh, makes it worse. So you cannot take alcohol and at the same time you are taking antidepressants. You cannot mix. And anyway, we know very well that all drugs, all drugs are not good with alcohol. So uh, that's another question I have answered. Another one I can answer is, can you get depression when you stop drinking? You know, yes, that one I would answer yes. Because once you have been drinking and drinking heavily and you have depression, at the moment or for a short while, let's talk about two weeks, you have withdrawal because already if you are a heavy drinker, you, you're already addicted to the alcohol. So once you withdraw from alcohol, you stop at once, then you ha you will have withdrawal symptoms and they are very, very bad. They make your depression bad. And that's why when some people who, you know, they, they, they have depression and they are taking alcohol and for that to stop, it's usually, usually intense and they need good supervision and, you know, a lot of help at that time when they are, when they are stopping to take alcohol because those withdrawals, you know, they also make them worse. They, because when you have withdrawal, it's like you, you also feel sad. You also have the symptoms of depression. So can you imagine somebody with depression and then they, they also have withdrawal from the alcohol they have been taking, so it becomes worse. Um, so the best thing is never, never to ever take alcohol, especially when you have depression, you know, or, or if you have to take alcohol, then it, it should be very minimal because depression and alcohol don't go together. Another question I would like to answer about uh, alcohol and depression is, why do I get crazy when I drink? That's a good question. Why do people get crazy when they drink? And, and I'm talking in the terms of somebody who, is, who, is, who has depression. Uh, the reason is that because when you take alcohol and when you are depressed, First of all, when you are depressed before you take alcohol, you are withdrawn from people, you are not uh, talking with people, you don't have the confidence, you feel small, and then you feel hopeless, you feel hopelessness. So when you take alcohol, 
then that give you a, a boost of confidence. So that time you feel you 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 know you can say anything, you can talk anything. If you have had any anger, you know in you know like every day, some people have anger. But when you are depressed, you're not able to express it. So when you take alcohol and you're drunk, then you're not able to hide that, and then it comes out. And for now, we'll take a breather, and then we'll continue from there. We'll talk more about depression. Thank you.